Welcome back to our Onshape tutorial series. In this video, we're going to look at making a name tag. It's going to be a relatively simple object to make, um, but we're going to design it so that if you have a 3D printer available, you could print this off and actually hook it onto a keychain. So let's take a look at the criteria we need to follow. So we're going to make a base with letters that stick out from it. So the base needs to be two millimeters in height. And the letters should be raised four millimeters above that for an overall thickness of six millimeters. We're also going to have a hole that does not exceed five millimeters that we put into this on one edge. Okay, so um, since everything's in millimeters, let's go ahead and change our workspace unit to millimeters. And let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a sketch on our top view here. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now, since I'm going to be using the name Myth Badger on mine, I want to give myself a little bit more room. So let's go with 100 millimeters for the width, and we'll use uh, 25 millimeters for the height. And let's go ahead and finish that sketch. And we're going to extrude it. And we're going to extrude it 2 millimeters per our design requirements. Let's go ahead and hit P to get rid of those planes and zoom in so there's our shape. So I'm going to move this around a little bit. I want to create the hole next because I don't want to place the words and then find out my words overlap with the hole. So let's place the hole first. And to do that, I'm going to create another sketch here. And I'm going to use my point tool. So let's find the center. The ce oh, there's the center. So let's just position that hole out there. And just to better define it, I'm going to mention from the left side. And I'm going to use the maximum size of 5 millimeters for my hole. So that's 2.5 for a radius. And I want the edge to be 5 millimeters from the edge. Just, just a personal choice. So 5 plus 2.5, I need to use 7.5 millimeters here. I already know since I used the center mark, that I don't have to dimension this way. So let's finish that sketch. And we'll use our hull tool and click on that point. And that's it. It just happened to make a five millimeter hole, which is great for us. And because it's a hole, it's just going all the way through. That's a default setting. I would have to change it for it to do anything otherwise. So let's finish that feature. Okay, so now I wanna fit my name in this space here. So let's create another sketch on that surface. Okay, so here's where we're going to have to introduce a new tool. We're going to look at our text tool. Now, the text tool can act a little weird. Um, I type my text here. That's pretty self-explanatory. And we see I've got some font sizes. And you can look here. Um, it changes those fonts. It doesn't give me a huge amount of fonts to work with. And some of them don't show up very well. Uh, so let's use our Roboto slab. Uh, I like that one. And we're just going to go ahead and finish. And we notice here that it created text much larger than my shape. Now, why did it do that? Well, if you look closely, you'll notice that the M and the B happen to match the bounding box I initially drew. So what it's doing is it's using that bounding box to set the capital letter size. And then from that, it's setting the font size for everything else. Onshape does not provide a scale tool. So to get this back down to a size I need, we're going to use our dimension tool. And since it's the width that's the problem, well, maybe a little bit with the height down here with the Y and the G, I'm going to go and I'm going to change the width first. And that might take care of the rest of it. I'm going to change it by selecting this top line, since that seems to be across the entire word. And I'm just going to see up, oh, see? And it's set it at 153 millimeters. It's way larger than the 100 that I set the base for. So let's think a little bit. The base is 100 across. I have 5 to the hole, another 5 to get to the other side of the hole, leaving me with 90 all the way across. I'm going to want a little bit of space on either side. So let's use 80. And we see that's definitely going to be a size that fits, but I need to reposition it. So I'm just going to um, turn off my dimension tool, and we see these little circles. 
around the edge. I'm just going to grab onto one and drag my shape to where I think it needs to go. And um, we're good to go. Now I want a little better control it, so I'm going to use my dimension tool. And let's go ahead and dimension this to be exactly five millimeters from the right side. So I know it's evenly spaced in, in that area. And I can also do the same from the top. Um, that's seven, which looks like it might be a little bit more than that. So let's go with 7.5. Not much of a change, but it'll work for what we need to do. So now I have my letters. Let's go ahead and extrude those out. And notice if I, if I hit about here, all the letters are chosen. But if you look at the letters that have loops in the center, like the B, A, D, and G, and E, you'll notice that not all of that is selected. So if I click, it didn't exactly extrude my letters very well. So let's go back and try that again. And this time, I'm going to hover so everything is highlighted. And there we go. We see that it did it correctly. Okay, now let's go ahead and change the um, depth. We're going to use um, four. And there we go. There's our name badge complete and ready to go. Now, <clears throat> on shapes got some weirdness in it. You'll notice that this entire thing is treated as one part. And currently, there is not a feature to allow Onshape to change each feature of a part to a different color. So there's really, if we change the color on this, it's all going to be one color. Um, and there's not an easy way to work around that without going through even more effort to try and get it back to this position. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it at this. Feel free to give this a try at home. Um, play around to numbers a bit to make your name fit the way you want it. And thank you for watching. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all future tutorials here at Miss Badger Videos.